everyone, and thanks for watching RPV City Talk. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, and you are joining me here at Hess Park outside the city council chambers. There's so much excitement here, as you can see behind me with the community. Tonight, the city council held their reorganization. It was the annual changing of the guard, and council member Dave Bradley is now RPV's mayor for the next year, and councilman Barbara Ferraro became mayor pro tem. There was a lot to celebrate tonight, and a special tribute to the outgoing Mayor Eric Alegria. So here's more about tonight's reorganization meeting. The Rancho Palos Verde City Council continued the annual tradition of selecting a new mayor and mayor pro tem. RPV's next mayor, Dave Bradley, received the ceremonial gavel and outgoing mayor Eric Alegria received community-wide recognition for his outstanding leadership and accomplishments during the ongoing pandemic. Mayor Alegria, I'd like to uh, say thank you for a phenomenal year um, of uh, leading our city and uh, for taking us uh, through opening up the city again. Um, I know it's been a trying couple years, um, but I think we are tr coming out of it and turning the corner. And I think your leadership uh, through the city for the last year has been instrumental in uh, the city um, doing as well as we have and continuing to uh, to thrive uh, through it all with balanced budgets and uh, continuing to keep up our uh, city services uh, throughout the pandemic. So thank you for your leadership over the last year. Um, with that, I have a wow a key to the city, so to speak. <laughs> Eric Alegria, in appreciation of your great leadership and service, the city of Rancho Palos Verdes, Mayor. Thank you so much. <laughs> Lastly, I'll just say there's a difference between a city and a community. They're not necessarily synonymous. Uh, we are not just a city, we are a community, and that's because of the people in it. And each of you had made a difference in this community. So thank you for the honor to serve and the opportunity, and I'm looking forward to continue on. And I know the good work of the city council will continue forward. Really exciting. Um, um, as I said in uh, my remarks, when uh, growing up here in Rancho Palos Verdes, we moved here before the city incorporation, um, and it's really exciting almost uh, 50 years later uh, to become the mayor. Um, it's just really something I never expected when I was going to the Rolling Hills High School and I grew up here on the peninsula that I would be back here uh, 35 years later or almost 40 years later um, and become mayor. So it's just really exciting. Uh, my family had had a long um, history of service. Uh, my grandfather really instilled in me a sense of service, and it's just exciting to be here. I wish he was here uh, to see this day. Uh, I think he would be really proud um, of uh, what I've uh, been able to accomplish. I'm very excited to be working with uh, Mayor uh, Bradley. I, I've had a really good working relationship for the past two years that he's served on the city council, and we do a lot of uh, we have a lot of communication, a lot of coordination, and I know he, he similar to the other council members, are, is a visionary and has um, his vision for what he'd like to see. And so I'm really excited about the opportunity to work with him and, and make those, those dreams and those visions a reality for the community. And of course, he, the way he sees it, and similar to the other council members, it's all for the betterment of, of the community. As some people know, I was on the council eight years back from 95 to 2003. But this time has even been sweeter because the other members of the council are such great guys. I mean, I am so thrilled to serve as Mayor Pro Tem while Dave Bradley serving as mayor. And we just had a wonderful year under uh, Mayor Ale Eric Alegria. And so I'm really excited for the new year and hopefully it won't even be as restricted as this past year has been but we've managed to get a lot of work done. We accomplished a lot in 2021. I mean, for, for a challenging year, we took on a lot. The, the uh, former mayor, Alegria, had, had his vision and, and we took it on. And I think there, there are uh, some notable um, accomplishments. I think seeing some change on Western Avenue, some of the beautification on Western Avenue, looking at the enhancement of, of some of our streets, working towards um, accomplishing and moving the Ladera Linda project working on the Civic Center project, um, some major initiatives that uh, are great importance to the city and the future and the quality of life of the city. We also uh, have spent a lot of time looking at legislation and taking a, a very active role as a small community um, in a larger state um, 
on, on questioning and challenging some of these initiatives that are being passed at, at, the, um, at the state level and how it's going to impact our quality of life. So uh, very, very, very happy about some of our accomplishments in terms of legislation this past year and looking forward to being more engaged um, with, with Sacramento in the upcoming year. As we come out of the pandemic, I want to continue that momentum that Mayor Alegria has put the city on. Um, a couple of things I do want to accomplish. I mean, I do think we have an existential threat in our uh, SB9, SB10, our re arena housing numbers, and really the assault on single family homes in the beach community. I think we really need to work with the state to come up with sane and implement, uh, implementatable um, goals for affordable housing and for housing, uh, but the one-size-fits-all kind of sledgehammer approach is just not going to work here in, uh, in uh, Southern California. So what's really exciting is our council is one of collaboration. Uh, it is one of mutual respect. Nobody on the council, even when we disagree with each other, um, takes it personally. I mean, I believe everyone on our current council really has the city's best interest at heart as we can try, as we uh, collaborate to try to move the city forward as best as possible. It's really neat when you respect your uh, fellow council members and there's really no personal strife. Yes, we disagree on different things, but at the end of the day, we all agree that we want to make the city of Rancho Palos Verdes a better place to live. Well, I'm excited to uh, be mayor on the, for the 49th year of the city's existence. Um, I really want to help plan for our 50th anniversary um, and I want to help move the city forward. Um, I mentioned in my remarks uh, working with the Coast Guard uh, to look at some of the excess land from Coast Guard to be able to use for joint enjoyment between the city as well as the federal government. Also making sure we have a long-term plan for the Point Vicente Lighthouse Complex, um, which has been accessed by the Coast Guard. Uh, it's no longer being used for uh, base housing, uh, but we really want to preserve that uh, you know, picturesque, quintessential piece of rolling, or, uh, Rancho Palos Verdes history. Um, and then working with our businesses here within the city. Uh, as we come out of the pandemic, you know, it's so important to help our businesses thrive uh, for the betterment of the entire city. Congratulations to Mayor Bradley and Mayor Pro Tem Ferraro. And again, we want to extend our big heartfelt thanks to outgoing Mayor Eric Alegria for all he did serving our community in 2021. Now, no doubt the City Council's focus in 2021 was to have fun, to bring the community back together despite the challenging times and navigating the pandemic. And there is a lot of fun happening right now at City Hall where there is skating by the sea. The city has put up a temporary skating rink through the month of December and the community is invited. There is so much fun happening there and we are gonna check it out on opening night at the rink. Hi everybody, I'm Corey Linder. I'm the director of the Recreation and Parks Department. Uh, we're here in front of the skating rink uh, for the first uh, annual and hopefully traditional uh, Skating by the Sea event and program. Uh, this program is gonna be every weekend of the month of December and uh, it's there's gonna be there's we're always gonna have food trucks out here there's always gonna be things to do for the kids and of course always skating uh, but we want to make sure that everybody makes reservations if you want to get your shot make sure you get your reservations it's easy to go on and get uh, uh, on our website to rpvca.gov slash skate and go in there, follow the prompts, and uh, pick yourself out a, a good reservation time for you and your family. Hi, I'm former mayor, Eric Alegria, and I'm so excited that we're having Skating by the Sea. This is the first night, which marks the opening of 14 days of skating here throughout the month of December. We're gonna have all sorts of theme nights and activities here, food trucks and bounce houses, so people in the community, please come out and enjoy this wonderful activity in our city. Thank you, Corey. Great to have all of you with us tonight. Happy holidays, folks. I know there's a lot of kids waiting to enjoy the ice, and uh, we will have a bounce house as well. So I will try to keep this rather brief for all of you, but I do have some folks that deserve some recognition for making tonight possible skating by the sea in the city of RPV. So we're very excited to kick this off. Just so you know, this is the first night of what will be 14 days throughout the month of December for folks to come out and enjoy the ice skating rink. Put your right hand over your heart. Face the flag, ready, begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation. 
nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Round of applause, please. Pack 846, wonderful work, boys. Thank you very much. All right, well, this is very fun to be with the Wu family. What do you think of skating by the sea? It's fun. I mean, I like it. You were here with Scouts, you did the pledge, and now you're about to hit the ice. Are you any good at skating? Yeah, I do hockey practice. Oh, great. And how about you, Mom? What do you think of all this, the city putting this on for the first time? Oh, this is beautiful. I'm, I'm very impressed. I had no idea that they would be able to put something like this together so quickly, too. It's nice. So I see you, your skates, you're not skating tonight. So we're here to cheer you on, Aaron. Are you ready to go? Yeah. So look out, L.A. Kings, future hockey player I think we've got here. I found some two skating rock stars out here, brother and sister team. What do you think of all this? Uh, I think it's um, really nice, and it's actually a lot more slippery than I thought. How about for you? What are you thinking about this? I like it. It's really fun, and yeah, that's all. So do you have you skated before tonight? Uh, no. I have skated before in my life, but not tonight. Okay, what do you think of the city doing this for the community and just, just getting you in the holiday spirit? Yeah, I think it's a really nice thing that they're doing for the whole community. You got, all, you got the holiday theme going on. What do you love about the holidays? I love being with my family and friends and unwrapping presents. <laughs> well, there's a big gift back behind you. What do you, what you're getting, you're gearing up. Are you, are you ready to skate? Yeah. It's really nice. And I would like to say thank you to all the people who, especially who use their money just for all the kids from the city to have fun. Oh, I think this is going to be so much fun. You know, um, it's winter. It feels great out here, although it's a little chilly. But I think the kids are having a great time. They're going to be able to skate. There's food here. You know, it's a chance for the community to get together at the holiday time. None of us had done a, a skating rink before. Uh, in my 32 years, I had not done one yet. So this was a new territory for me as well. Um, so we did our research on it. We uh, tried to get to go with a, a good vendor. Uh, we really tried to work out from there. Okay, what do we need? People that don't want to skate. We're going to need food. you got to have food. They'll come. Um, what about for the kids that just want to play? So we try to put all those pieces together, start working with all those different di vendors, uh, whether it's the fencing, the lighting, uh, you know, a, a tree lighting ceremony, and trying to just always thinking about the details to just put that ribbon on top to make sure and try to take it over the top. This is a synthetic surfacing. Um, so it is not ice. It's a little different. It looks a little different. Feels a little different. It's not quite as fast as ice. Um, but the feeling and the environment um, does make you feel like you're ice skating. This program, going off of what I said before, uh, it, it, we wouldn't have been able to do it without our sponsor, but also our support from our city council. Uh, the mayor, this was kind of his brainchild, and uh, hopefully we brought it to life as he wanted it. Um, but the support from our, our sponsors, uh, whether it's uh, William Winder and Edco and Terranea, Trump National uh, and others, uh, it's been fantastic. Uh, so we really appreciate and we thank them. Uh, for those folks and families that want to come out here and but don't want to skate, um, there is other things. Uh, obviously, you can take a look at our big, beautiful tree. Um, we do have food trucks here where you could get a cup of hot cocoa, but if you're here at 1 o'clock on a Saturday and it's hot, they got ice cream over there as well. So a little bit of everything. Um, over here to my left, we're going to have uh, uh, at least two jumpy houses for the kids. So if they don't want to, if they don't <laughs> hurt themselves and get tired out on the skating rink, they can head on over there. Um, we, we most likely will have uh, more crafts. Our rec staff will probably uh, uh, have some crafts out in, uh, uh, in our random days here. Uh, we'll also have theme nights. And you can go on that website I said earlier and check those, check the calendar and see what the theme are. I think a few of them are disco nights. Uh, we've got uh, 80s night, ugly sweater night, frozen night, bring out the kids. I think we're going to have a few folks from the movie come on out here and uh, uh, talk to the kids. So there's going to be a lot to do. And again, just check that calendar. If not, just uh, give us a call at the Rec and Parks Department. I have been skating for 11 years now, since I was nine. This is my first time being on synthetic ice. It's interesting. I got on and I was like, whoa. <laughs> a few good tips I can give you for getting on synthetic ice is make sure when you get on the ice, the synthetic ice, your core is very tight. You want to make sure your abs are engaged and you bend your knees. If you keep your legs straight, 
you're gonna fall face first and that's not the good. you want to make sure you have fun here it's beautiful it's you you can have the feeling of gliding and just doing whatever you want like on regular ice but then you have the view of the beach right there i, I it's amazing oh the beautiful sight here beautiful place to go skating by the sea where else can you skate with the pacific ocean these incredible views wonderful for the entire family Everyone should come out here and enjoy Skating by the Sea. Now, if you want to make reservations or get more details about Skating by the Sea, check out the city website, rpvca.gov. Skating by the Sea is definitely a new tradition, and one of the most popular traditions at the holidays is Breakfast with Santa. And yes, Santa came to town, or I should say City Hall, and young and old were there to greet him. Thanks, Liz. I'm Emily Rodine with the City of Rancho Palos Verdes Recreation and Parks Department. It's my pleasure to welcome you guys to our Breakfast with Santa event. We're here at Rancho Palos Verdes City Hall and we couldn't ask for a more beautiful day on this December. Today we have a lot of things going on. As you can see, we have lots of families back here. They did their check-in, they got their breakfast boxes. The kids are excitingly working on their gingerbread houses. Um, we got Santa coming in a little bit on a fire truck. We'll be handing out crafts plush toys to the kids. Traditionally, this event has been held at Hess Park indoors, um, but with COVID and still lingering around, we figured let's just bring it outside. And like I said, we couldn't really ask for more to have an outdoor event here at City Hall. It's just beautiful. I think everyone's enjoying the weather and it just gives more space for the kids to run around and have a great time. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse up and sled. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hello, my name's Michelle. I'm here with um, our, our family and friends. This is Maggie, Amberlynn, Anna, Landon, and Max. We all live in RPV. And it's just been a great holiday um, coming out of the pandemic, finally getting to experience people, um, events like this in the community and just being among neighbors has been really rewarding. I love this. I love this music. Like I love caroling and listening to uh, holiday music. So this is a treat to see, see these live, these singers live. I just applaud the city for doing this and I'd love to see more uh, gatherings because it's just, I mean, this is what life is about, getting together with friends and neighbors. Hello. My name is Desiree. I work in building and safety and I'm here today to celebrate breakfast with Santa with my two girls. Um, I'm so excited that the city of RPV is introducing all these new fun events that we get to enjoy and working here it's just amazing and just to enjoy and participate with my family and these wonderful activities is just really really exciting i i enjoy it hi my name is angela i'm here at beautiful city hall in rancho palos verdes with the reach program our reach program serves adults with developmental disabilities in the community today we're going to be having some hot cocoa some coffee some tea and that the donations for that are going to go directly to the reach program to help us support our activities What's happening over here, Kimberly? Tell us we a little are, bit about the Reach booth. We are making coffee and coffee, iced and tea, and hot chocolate for anyone who wants not coffee can. And I know today the donations at this table are going to help the Reach program. What do you love about Reach? And talk about that. Well, I think they're more big, one big happy family. So, but it's fun to be out with friends and family. I've been in the REACH program since like 96, 1996 and I just love going on the community and doing like different activities and everything that... <laughs> if you're joining REACH, you can contact us at REACH at rpvca.gov. We do have different criteria to go over, but we sort of go over that with you personally on a one-to-one -one basis. Um, there's a lot of paperwork you have to go through, but we'd be happy to see you join our family. We go on a lot of field trips. We do a lot of activities. We, for example, this month we went to the Del Amo Mall to go shopping. Next month we're doing a Clippers game, so we try to get out in the world and in the community. Oh, hi, I'm Miss this is Claus and we're so happy to be here in Southern California in Rancho Palos Verdes. Let's see what's going on at our breakfast, shall we? Come on. And you know who's going to be here very soon? The big guy himself and he's coming on a very special sleigh. We're making gingerbread houses and we're having breakfast and doing crafts, right? Hi. Look at how wonderful. 
Oh, look at this award-winning gingerbread house. Come closer. Can we take a look at this epic gingerbread house? Oh, you two have done a wonderful job. Remind me of your first names. Your name is? Callie. Callie and? Uh, and Colton. Well, you certainly are getting in the Christmas spirit, and I love your use of all the objects on the table. Are you going to be maybe a, a building decorator or an architect when you grow up? That is really phenomenal work. And we know your parents have been very good this year, too. And are you going to maybe come back and try the skating rink? I think we will. Yes. yes. It's open on the weekends, 1 to 8, and then it's open the week after Christmas, same hours. It's really, really fun. We'll have to try it. Yes, we will. <laughs> okay. Merry Christmas, and thank you for coming out. Thank you. This is great. Mrs. Claus. Hello. Hello. Oh, Merry Christmas to everyone in RPV. I'm here with Mrs. Claus at Hello. Breakfast with Santa. Wonderful children, wonderful families. It's going to be a great, great holiday season for all. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, one and all. And a big ho, ho, ho to everyone. Ho, ho, ho. Right after leaving breakfast with Santa, I'm going to say ho, ho, ho. It's time to end this show. Thank you for tuning in to RPV City Talk. I'm Liz Brown Swanson, wishing everyone happy holidays and a healthy new year. Again, thanks for joining us. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in one horse up and sleigh. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh, dashing through the snow in a one-horse open sleigh. O'er the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtails ring, making spirits bright. What fun it is to ride and sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. A day or two ago, I thought I'd take a ride, and soon Miss Fanny Bride was seated by my side. The horse was lean and lank, misfortune seemed his lot. We got into a drifted bank and we, we got upset. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one horse open sleigh. Have a lot of fun, jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle all the way.